crisis that looms is that we can find ourselves with an undereducated population that's not prepared to take those jobs in the 21st century. For the first time probably in the country's history, the gatekeeper to the middle class is now some form of education beyond high school. What happens in recessions is the deeper the recession and the longer the recession, the more likely it is that we'll get the stories about PhDs who have become janitors, uh, people with bachelor's degrees who become bartenders. Uh, in the end, uh, these are really the man bites dog stories. Every recession since 1980, when you come out the other side, high school and dropout jobs go away and don't come back and more and more of the uh, workforce requires post-secondary education to get a job. For experts at Lumina Foundation for Education and the Georgetown University Center on Education and the Workforce, the latest unemployment figures underscore the urgency for states to connect the dots between higher education and jobs. This recession has been particularly ugly and it is in the nature of human beings uh, uh, since we're children to always feel that whatever is going on at the moment will go on forever. You have to convince people that there will be tomorrow. The economy will recover. The only question is how fast will it recover? Uh, we think that we'll be fully back online by the end of 2015, maybe early 2016. We know that a very substantial share of the jobs that we've lost that don't require post-secondary education they are not coming back. And we come out the other side of this thing, there'll be a higher concentration of jobs that require post-secondary education. So Lumina Foundation for Education President and CEO Jamie Marisotis believes more states are realizing their economic vitality is increasingly tied to getting students into and through college. This economic crisis is no different than others in the fact that in the short term there are serious uh, challenges that we face, but over the long term what needs to happen is we need to increase the skill level of the workforce to help advance productivity. This idea that a high school diploma is going to get you middle class earnings or get you the ability to take care of a family is really a thing of the past. If you don't have a college degree, your chances of being in the middle class will be significantly diminished, or to be even more direct about it, is there a high probability that you'll be poor without some form of post-secondary education? You know, it, it's, as shocking as that sounds, that's exactly what the data is showing. Uh, right now, for the first time probably in the country's history, the gatekeeper to the middle class is now some form of education beyond high school. Now, it's not necessarily a bachelor's degree. It can be an associate degree, it can be a high quality post-secondary certificate, but it's something beyond high school that gives you skills and knowledge that translate to an occupation. The recession just adds new urgency. Get a post-secondary degree to weather the current economic storm. A college degree is still your best shelter. Uh, when it rains hard enough and long enough, uh, like it has in this recession, everybody gets a little wet Nine times out of ten, not always, but nine times out of ten, the earnings increases you get will easily pay for the uh, college education you buy. For more information, visit Lumina Foundation for Education and the Georgetown University Center on Education and the Workforce.